Hello everybody, this is Pastor Phil, Full of Life Ministries. Today's message is entitled, Don't Let Pride Deceive You. Now in the book of Proverbs chapter 16 verse 18 tells us, Pride comes before disaster and arrogance before a fall. Now listen, the word pride is best described as an inordinate or excessive amount of self-esteem, an unreasonable conceit of one's own superiority in talents, beauty, wealth, accomplishments, rank or elevation in office, which manifests itself in lofty airs, distance, reserve, and often in contempt of others. You see, the world is filled with many individuals who operate in this thing we call pride. And many of us, if we're totally honest with ourselves, we use pride as our defender to protect us from being taken advantage of or to take advantage of somebody. So today or tonight, I want to encourage you to examine how pride can potentially damage relationships, destroy careers, and prevent opportunities for you to excel in life because of operating in pride. Now, 1 Peter, the fifth chapter in the fifth verse tells us, all of you clothe yourselves with humility toward one another because God resists the proud, but he gives favor to the humble. You see, pride and arrogance will only cause great loss of value to your life. The humble man or woman receives blessings from God because humility allows you to receive the wisdom that comes from the Lord. And operating in his wisdom will prevent and I mean, it will prevent any deception that pride may try to, lack of a better word, bait you into. Now, there's a scripture in Obadiah, the first chapter in the third verse tells us the pride of your heart has deceived you. You who live in the clefts of the rocks and make your home on the heights, you say to yourself, who can bring me down to the ground? <laughs> Who does that sound like? You see, back in those days, Edom was an ancient land bordering ancient Israel in what is now called Southwestern Jordan between the Dead Sea and the Gulf of Aqaba. Edom was very wealthy and powerful. And with so many traders passing through their well-defended territory, the, Edom, the Edomites saw themselves as, how can I say this? They consider themselves big shots in the region. This sad narrative of these prideful groups of people, it was pride that contributed to their downfall. You see, they were arrogant. Who does that sound like? They were overconfident because their city set high in the rocky cliffs where they had built their cities and their location where the city was located, they felt that they were safe from any enemy that could affect their lifestyle. Ah, the Edomites' attitude was careless. Who does that sound like? They told themselves, who will bring us down to the ground? You see, people of God, pride can cause spiritual blindness. And you will become most vulnerable to your adversary if you allow pride to rule your life. So living together with your friends and your family, working in the environment that you work in, requires a great deal of grace and humility. So let's always recognize when pride tries to take you down that winding road that may lead you to a disastrous end today or tonight. I want you to be encouraged and keep shining. And thank you once again for supporting Full of Life Ministries. God bless you.